This is Kajiado, one of the nation's largest counties and home to a sprawling ecosystem. Kajiado, with its vast semi-arid lands, is dogged by numerous challenges from air pollution to land degradation, largely due to a lack of awareness and the drive for economic development with little regard for the environment. That lack of awareness in itself has actually contributed a lot uh, to the problems that we are facing uh, today of environmental degradation. Alive to the vagaries of climate change, Kajiado is seeking homemade solutions and the Greenpoint offers much needed respite. The facility behind is a concept that NEMA is developing. It's called uh, the Greenpoint. It is a facility that is the centerpiece of promoting uh, green technology in the county and generally in the country. Uh, this open space, once it is uh, commissioned, then uh, we are going to have a platform where NEMA will be engaging various stakeholders. Uh, we expect that uh, we shall have a vibrant interaction between uh, NEMA and the county government. So it's going to enhance our partnership and collaboration. We anticipate to have a, a wastewater. The green points, as Kenyans would know, are another Huduma point. If you want us to say Huduma Center for Environment, see Green Point. In the past, the presence of NEMA was not much felt in the counties because most of this was emanating from the headquarters. But now, your solutions are at your doorstep. Make use of these green points because they are the demonstrations of the current and green technology. In Kajiado here we have a number of technologies. One is harnessing of uh, solar energy for lighting and for cooking. We have a technology where solar energy is being used to light up the compounds during the night to keep away the wild animals. This chimney ni what we call clean energy stuff. Mradi ambayo tumepata kwa ndugu zetu wa Tanzania tulitembea huko Munduli then tukaona hii tukaja kuanzisha huko Kenya. This is the only project in Kenya. Na it is the third in East Africa after uh, Tanzania and Rwanda kidogo waliweka huko na hapa sasa Kenya. We are lucky it is within our range Mbirigani group branch. If that one is scaled out within uh, the drylands of uh, Amboseli area, then that one is going to help reduce the impact of deforestation due to charcoal burning, uh, which is actually exerting a lot of pressure to Amboseli ecosystem, which is a, a very fragile ecosystem, given that uh, it also supports wild animals and uh, it is one of uh, the tourism attractions. We also have uh, wind turbines in Ngong, we have plenty of winds here. If that can be tapped and scaled up, then it can be used to generate electricity that can then be sold to Kenjin or be used on small scale by the factories. That's right. <laughs> These mamas just use about two or three firewoods. Then they make their cooking. A burden of walking about three hours. Kwenda kutafuta kuni. Na maybe twice or thrice a week. And as we are talking now, wanaenda tumara moja kwa wiki. Na hiyo mzigo anabeba ya wiki, ya siku moja, inakaa wiki moja, hata mpaka mbili. Na ukiangalia ujiko, hakuna moto inatumika inapotea. Zamani nyumba kama hizi za haina affiliation ya kutosha, haina madirisha. So kulikuwa na moshi mwingi sana ndani ya nyumba. But Sahi, I'm telling you, 99% of the smoke in a talker through this chimney. Nandio sabu nakuta watu wengine, wengi wa mashambani, walikuwa na shida ya macho, ma, kifufua, kubana, kwa ajili ya ile moshi. Lakini Sahi, ni safe, unaesa kaa hapo, watu wakipika, wanapika, vizuri, 
na hakuna moshi. We have a very interesting technology in Oloitoktok in Imbirikani group ranch where the women group have set up uh, the manyatas where they are harvesting water from the manyatas. Sio mpaka uwe na mabati ndio upate kupata maji safi ya mvua. So kama sasa vile area hii ambayo maji ni haba tuna ina, tunaweka chandarua kama hii and then tunaweka getters kama zile za mabati kawaida inakuja kwa filtration system ambayo ni hapa whereby maji inaingia hapa ikijaa ile maji yote chafu ya kwanza unajua sasa kama vile vumbi iko ikinyesha inaoshwa kwanza hii uchafu yote inaingia hapa inajaa ikijaa maji safi inaenda kwa hii tangi ndogo ambayo tena ni filter inaenda kwa main tangi ile kubwa sasa na hii uchafu unaifungulia na hapa ikijaa hapa unaifungulia hapa unamwaga hiyo maji yako chafu then unapata maji safi clean unatumia kwa kunywa so inakuwa safe kabisa and also we have uh, the biogas like for example in Kiserian we have uh, a slaughterhouse that is uh, harnessing the waste from the slaughterhouse to produce biogas then that biogas is used in cooking okay now we are almost to enter the slaughterhouse you can see the green meat project private sector initiative environment friendly fair trade employment this is to remind the people the work we are doing here so all the waste gets into this collection chamber mixes up both the blood and the waste from the ingesters the green waste so we have two types the, the red and the green they end up here then the design of this collection chamber is that they start feeding into the digesters automatically the pressure accumulates inside the digester and the control of that pressure of the gas in the, inside the digester is what pumps the gas to the storage yeah, we just pumped the gas from the balloon through the purification to the bigger cylinders. So from the big, big cylinders we can now package it to the smaller cylinders. The system has a capacity of 100 cylinders a day. And we can do twin packaging at the same time. The whole vision of Kikonyoke Biogas plant is to save the acacia trees in our rangelands. So the only way is that if the cow can also produce energy, which is cheaper for the households, we can be able to redeem or stop the cutting of the acacia trees. So actually this, this, this open space is where we're going to have uh, the botanical garden. Okay. Yeah. So the water that will be coming... With its green point nearing completion and ingenious technologies fast taking root, Kajado is well placed to green its economy, sustainably use its environment, while improving the livelihood of its population.